So hello you guys and welcome back to Friday Chit Chat. Let's talk about that mid-season finale. Holy fuck. So first of all, I love that it ended on a hopeful note. I know it's preparing for all-out war, so it, it isn't that hopeful, I guess, because they're getting ready to go to war. But I loved that it ended on a hopeful note instead of the usual devastating ending that we usually get in a mid-season finale. It ended with everyone getting back together. I loved the hug between Daryl and Rick. Like somebody pointed out in the comments, there was no words needed. Rick and Daryl just, they just kind of understood, do you know what I mean? There was like an unspoken thing between them. And that hug where you see Daryl hunch up his shoulders and just kind of go into Rick. It was such a vulnerable moment and it was, it was so beautiful to see them back together again. Maggie, I feel like, is doing pretty well at the moment. I mean, she's powering through everything. I have no idea how she's so strong considering Glenn's death, obviously. But I think she's using that as like a fire in her belly in order to keep going. She's using that to spur her on and to keep moving and to plan shit. Michonne, I was a bit confused about for a moment because she kind of took your one hostage, found out when Egan lived and then killed her. That really honestly did catch me off guard. Um, I didn't expect her to just shoot your one like that. Now a lot of people have been saying the, the lady pointed out the fact that there was a silencer in the glove compartment. That lady clearly wanted to die, whatever. I don't know, I still think it was very strange for Michonne to just shoot someone. Then we have the two deaths. We have Spencer's death, which I don't think a lot of people are all that upset about. Spencer was, I don't know, he was he was an annoying character. I didn't like him, I didn't gel with him. So his death didn't really do anything for me. I was like, oh, he's dead, okay. Olivia's death was unexpected. I mean, she was, she had quite a lot of scenes in the last episode and she had a few scenes in the episode before that too. So, so I felt like we were kind of just getting to know her and then boom, she's dead. I was like, wow, all right. I mean, she seemed like a lovely lady. That talk she had with Tara on the porch where she said, I promised Rick I'd look after Judith, and I will. That sucked. Seeing her just die, like, bye bye sucked. A lot of people were saying I didn't have a big reaction to that. Again, I didn't gel with Olivia. I didn't, I didn't feel like we saw enough of her character or knew her well enough. You know, she got shot, and I was like, oh, that fucking sucks. We're not going to get to learn more about her. But that was pretty much it for me. Poor Aaron getting beat up really got me annoyed. I mean, he didn't even fucking do anything. I don't understand why they didn't take the note out of the box before they brought all the shit back to Alexandria. I know they didn't know that the saviors were at Alexandria at that point, but still, I mean, you find a note that fucking weird in a box full of goodies, you're not gonna leave it there and bring it home to Alexandria. Like, what are you gonna do? Frame it and put it on the wall? If that was me, I would have seen the note and been like, oh, well, someone's a bitter bitch, rolled up the note and like thrown it away. Now, there was a scene with your man with the boots, or your one with the boots, I don't know, we saw like a boot and some dirt, so somebody was watching Rick and Aaron. A lot of people have been saying that there was a scene after the credits also, I didn't see that because the episode that I got didn't have that scene, but everyone has been telling me what it is. Apparently there was someone watching Alexandria. Carol, I feel, was an interesting one this episode. Her having that speech with Morgan where she said, you know, if you see anybody we know, tell them that you don't know where I am. She's trying to hide from people she knows. I'm like, Carol, honey, sweetie pie, you have no idea what's going on back in Alexandria. They need you. The whole gang is back together, minus Carol. Like, I feel I feel like it's really weird seeing everyone get together and be like, oh, we're gonna bond together and fight against Negan. But Carol isn't there. And I wonder if she knew what was going on, would she join the fight? I mean, she's in that whole, I don't like killing space at the moment. But I wonder, would she work with Rick and all of them? Would she just go back to her old ways? Rosita was another interesting one this episode. We saw her go against Eugene's advice. Eugene told her, you know, don't make the bullet. You're, you you might get punished for it, but somebody else might. And then Eugene ended up being the one that was taken by Negan because he had to own up to the fact that he made the bullet. A lot of people are saying, oh, you can't really blame Rosita. I get where you're coming from. In a way you can, in a way you can't. Rosita, it's kind of similar to the Daryl and Glenn situation when Daryl spoke up or when Daryl attacked Negan and then Glenn was just fucking killed. It's kind of similar because Daryl wasn't expecting that to happen to Glenn. Daryl thought, if anything happens, I'll be the one attacked, so like, fuck it. And I think Rosita had that same mindset, but Eugene had told her beforehand, Eugene told her, you mightn't take the heat for this, but somebody else will, because they saw what happened with the whole Daryl and Glenn situation. So knowing what they knew at that stage, I think Rosita was a little bit reckless to still go through with it. Rosita had seen Daryl act out against Negan, and then she saw Glenn get killed, sort of as a result. So she, she should have known that Negan would uh, retaliate, but it wouldn't be against her if you know what I mean. But I don't blame Rosita for wanting to fight back. I don't blame Rosita for 
trying to kill Negan. I mean, she's the only one that actually tried to take a fucking shot at him. We saw Coral go after Negan and then he had a load of open shots and he just didn't take them. At least Rosita took the fucking shot and tried her best. It did result in Eugene being taken, but still. With Rick getting his gun back, obviously, you know, that's savage Rick coming back. Rick is kicking into gear again. He's like, all right, fuck this shit. I'm not going to sit quietly anymore. We're going to plan stuff and fangs. So I can't wait to see all that play out. I can't believe we have to wait two months without any Walking Dead. I don't know what I'm going to do with my Mondays anymore. I've become so accustomed to, you know, getting up, doing the reaction videos, editing them, talking about the episode with friends and with people and with all you guys online and then answering comments on it that my Mondays are going to feel kind of weird without that. A lot of you guys have been asking what am I going to do over the break. I will still be uploading two videos a week. Friday Chit Chat will still go ahead and I'm going to try and think of another video I can put up on Monday that will be Walking Dead related. In other stuff and things this week. I have already said that phrase. I've been saying that a lot over the last few days. First of all, I can't believe Christmas is next weekend. Like, where did December go? It went so fast. Second of all, for those of you guys in the UK, or like, you know, Europe in general, you will have heard of the X Factor, of the British X Factor. Matt won. Now, I wasn't really too delighted about that. I thought Sarah had an amazing voice. I thought she had the stage presence and the persona to go all the way and to win it, but Matt ended up getting it. Now, fair play to him. He's a great singer, but I feel like he was kind of... I don't know. I feel like his performances were always kind of the same. He just kind of stood there and sang ballads. I would have liked to have seen Sarah won. Win. Fuck. Another thing I want to mention is we hit 11,000 subscribers on the channel this week. Thank you guys so much again to everybody who's new. Welcome to the channel. The comment section is usually a very friendly place, so let's keep it that way, you guys. No arguing, no snide remarks to each other. My internet has been an absolute motherfucker this week. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my internet. I think it might be the weather because it's really rainy and really windy. So maybe that's affecting my internet, but I have to wait for YouTube videos to buffer. I have to wait for the ads before a YouTube video to buffer. My internet is just really slow, which is why I haven't been active on anything really this week. Trying to keep up with comments on my videos and the comments just won't load because of my shitty internet. Answering comments is kind of tough as it is anyway because there's 11,000 of you guys and I do try my best to keep up with everyone. I really do. I spend like hours every night uh, replying to people, chatting to people. There are two people I want to wish a happy birthday to this week. First of all is Jerry. Jerry, apparently you're a bit upset that I didn't know it was your birthday on Sunday. I'm sorry, but like, like I said, my internet's shitty. I'm finding it hard to keep up with the comments. I have work. It's Christmas. I work in retail. It's a crazy motherfucking time for me. So it's not impersonal. I just, I've been up the walls busy lately. But I hope you had a good birthday nonetheless. And also, a little birdie tells me that it's Kristen's birthday today as this is uploaded. Kristen, you tweeted about it on Twitter and I saw it, so happy birthday. I hope you have a brilliant day. I got my hair cut again. I'm always changing my fucking, my style, my look, everything. It's because I'm such a fidgety person and I don't really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't really settle into things. I change everything so often. So I decided to get it done a bit shorter because it was annoying me. It was really long and it was just, I have really thick hair and it was impossible to style or do anything with. So we went short. It might really look all that great at the moment because I think you guys probably know that when you get a new haircut, it takes a few days to figure out how to style it and how to work it. I haven't figured that out yet. It's just fucking crazy at the moment. Oh my God, I sound like such a basic bitch. I got a haircut this week. Let me tell you about it. I am heading down to check my P.O. box. I've steadily been receiving letters and even gifts from you guys. Thank you so much. As I said, I don't thank everybody individually or mention everything that came individually in these videos because I'm putting together a special unboxing P.O. box video. I'm filming it in segments, so every time I get a letter or something, I will sit down, film myself opening it and chatting to you guys, and then I'm gonna put all of those clips together into one big clip it's probably going to be quite a long video, but to any of you guys that sent me something to the P.O. Box, hopefully you will enjoy watching the video. Yesterday, I think it's worth mentioning though, I will mention this. Yesterday I received a gift that I am really excited about. I received a fucking baseball bat. Now, I have never even seen a real bat in real life. This shit is the heaviest thing that I think I've ever fucking held. How are you supposed to play sports with this? Like, my hands like shake when I hold it. 
I'd be there on the baseball pitch, baseball field, I don't even know what it's called. My hand would be shaking, I'd be like, throw it to me! But yeah, I think this is really cool, so thank you so much Ryan, I did get it. I know that you sent it, like, at the end of November I think it was, because there was a date on the box. But I only received it now, but I love it. So I just thought I'd mention that. With the P.O. box, it is closing at the end of December. A lot of people have been asking me why am I closing it. It's just because I only paid to have it open for a month. My belly has been like talking to me and growling this entire video. So if you guys hear that, just ignore it. I don't know how it works in the States or elsewhere in the world. But in Ireland, you can pay for a P.O. box for a month, which is what I did. I paid to keep it open for the month of December. So it'll be closing on the last day of December. So if you guys are thinking of sending a letter or something like that, um, make sure that you send it quite soon because today's the 15th. So I'm not sure if it would... I'm not sure like how long things take to get here or to ship so just keep an eye on the date and shit I guess if you're thinking about sending something that is it for you that is it for you guys this week would that that makes sense I guess that is it this week you guys thank you so much for watching the first half of the season 8 of The Walking Dead with me 8? season 7? how fucking tired am I? I will of course be doing reactions to the second half as well a lot of you have been asking would I consider reacting to other shows. I'd love to. There's a lot of shows that I watch that I'd love to react to. But I have a job, so I, I find it really hard to make time. Even making time for The Walking Dead reactions is tricky some weeks. So for now, we're just sticking with The Walking Dead. Over the break, I might do reactions to a few other things, just to keep, you know, things fresh and going for you guys. So stick around if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I want to talk about this week. I love you guys, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will talk to you all soon.